Hey guys, welcome back. BGC Care here. We're back after a little impromptu hiatus from the Q and A's. Um, so we've decided to name this the beginning of season three because we're going to be back <laughs> in the swing of things. So this is going to be season three, episode one. Uh, and and hopefully the plan is to not skip any more long stretches of time. Mm -hmm. uh, just maybe like a single week here and there when we absolutely need to the way that we did before. Right. Um, but anyways, getting right into the questions, these are going to be a little bit old, but we... <gasps> Look at this crappy bronze team we're fighting. Anyway, sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Um, but they're worth coming back to. The questions were worth coming back to. Wait, how did that happen? Dude, Matchmaker okay. does that every once in a while. I guess so. Uh, yeah, the first question comes from Mong Coot, and they say, how do you not get bored of playing this game for so long? Which is actually only more relevant the longer it's been left. The question, <laughs> the question actually becomes... Uh, more and more relevant it's a good way to start our new season yeah um so um, my strategy is i actually play other games um we don't always film them and when we've tried it seems like they don't get a lot of traction so don't we definitely don't uh post them as much but playing other games i mean this is not the only game that i play yeah this I, is just the only game anyone's interested in watching us play on youtube yeah, it seems like and actually i spend a lot of time reading um yeah loving i loved river of teeth that the Hipp hippopotamus western by sarah gailey yeah which is out now um and i, I gotta tell you video ga game videos are are much easier than other types of youtube videos yeah when i meet other other creators and i see the kind of time and effort they put into videos i can't imagine what it would take to keep up with a, a proper channel where you have real production values and you actually have to put a lot of work into content that you hope will last forever yeah so for sure as far as as playing this we do a lot of other games and a lot of the time that's actually we spend playing this is like time where it would be hard to do something else mm -hmm. right like it's kind of there, there's mobile game time in in our days right where mm -hmm. we're playing non-mobile game things are isn't really on the table and so it, like it's it, it doesn't really feel like there's much of an opportunity for us to get bored of it the same way because it's it's not something that like we sit down and like play until right. we get burned out. And I guess the point I was making about the videos is that the volume of videos that we put out on Injustice, as small as it is, might seem like a lot more because m most other types of videos, the content creators spend a lot more time on their videos. Yeah. By creating them. So there we go. Our next question comes from Ronald McGreer. And they say, who can replace Flashpoint Batman? I don't have him yet, and I replaced him with Jessica Cruz for some DPS. Damage per second. So this seems like a really common question on our uh, MP online videos. Mm -hmm. And this was asked on our level 60 Elite 10 video that had Flashpoint Batman, Injustice 2 Superman, and Arkham Knight Batman. And, you know, typically there's... A format of questions. Yeah, so who can replace blank or what gears instead of blank, right? And the, the short answer really is no one. Yeah, no one's exactly the same. Yeah, and it's especially true if they have a particularly unique passive, like Flashpoint Batman, right? Or if they have a really unique special, like Batgirl Special 1, which is the only one that stuns at the beginning of it and finishes it up with a huge amount of damage. Or yeah. Ares Special 2, right? Godsmack, where, yeah, where it's unblockable, guaranteed. And it gives you, if it doesn't finish them off, then they stay, um, they can't block. Yeah, for a few seconds after. Because typically the teams we create, I think we do it because they have something particularly interesting to show, so they're not that interchangeable. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe a, a, like a broader answer that makes some sense is the, you need to look at what you're trying to replace. If it's in, in the broad category, if you're trying to replace a basic damage dealer... Then, then you've you, got a lot of options, actually. Right, but you need someone who's good at it and gear him or her for that particular reason. Mm -hmm. But you'll need to find someone who slots in at a similar stat level for the rest of your team to replace them. Yeah. Um, so, uh, listen, in your case, if you're picking another basic damage dealer instead of Flashpoint Batman, Jessica Cruz, she's pretty good. Um, but only as long as she doesn't unbalance a team with her stats. And I'd probably gear her a little differently uh, because she's her main advantage, not her main advantage, but her sort of unique thing is she's got a huge multi-hit combo ender yeah so i'd be tempted to give her gauntlets of azrael and or razzle ghoul's scimitar just so you can take advantage of her uh the combo ender effect and mm. crit boost would be much more useful on her than flashpoint batman because we showed before that boosting his damage is actually more important than boosting his crit damage yeah but that's not true for um jessica cruz so 
I'd be more focused on if I was going to do a basic damage boost, I'd want to have crit chance. Yeah, so there we go. Our next question comes from But Maxud, and they say, I banned and I don't know why. And there's some question marks. And we're not addressing this in particular because this isn't a question that we ac can actually answer, but we're we're going to address it kind of more in abstract, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a good starting point too, right? Yeah. We're sort of dealing with sort of broad categories and deep, meaningful theological questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I guess the first thing is when you say you don't know why, and especially when like you're, you're essentially telling us that you can't give us any extra information other than I'm banned, we can't actually give you any answer except for like literally every single way we know of getting banned right i mean to sift through on your own there, there's really no insight there right like yeah. there's no self-awareness in the questions there's no insight i mean there's two broad categories of bannings bannings because you were naughty and bannings because warner brothers uh screwed up yeah and we've seen lots of examples of both and even breaking it down into those two categories means that we really can't answer that question without so much more detail that we can't even get into and I, I don't know it's 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 an interesting question because it seems like the the few times that we've investigated like this where we've taken an interest and we've looked into it people have done naughty things um and yeah i think it goes to your original point where there's just so many things that can go wrong from Warner Brothers screwing up and not recognizing that Doomsday. they've added a new challenge character and then banning everybody who uses that new challenge character in multiplayer, yeah. which happened with Red Sun Green Lantern in his first challenge, to um, increasing the credit level. And again, I'm not saying this is what's true in this particular case, but there's just so many different ways you can screw up mm -hmm. that it's it's impossible to answer. I mean, I guess if anybody really wants that kind of answer, the first thing you need to do is pique our interest. We, we've got to, it's got to be something a little bit um, enticing. Yeah, it, it can't really just be either I'm banned or uh, I'm banned and all I had was 5 billion credits. <laughs> um, and then maybe, like, sh you got to share a little bit more information than that. But th that's probably the best way to get to it. We, get, we still, even as our channel slows down a lot, we're still getting a significant number of questions and comments on our videos. So you got to stand out a little bit to make it yet. interesting enough that we're going to put in the extra time that it takes. Because I guess we've been honest about this. This is our hobby. We've got our lives. Yeah. We've got work. We've got school. And what we're doing is having a bit of a lark. We're having a bit of fun. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. All right. Our next question comes from Lloyd Banks. Oh, long-time viewer. Yeah, definitely. A uh, regular commenter, too. Hey, Lloyd. <laughs> hey. And he says, hello, BDCKR. Um, I'm glad that you're playing also Injustice 2. Uh, I started to, and I think we'll get used to it. I don't know if you've already answered this, but I want to ask you a relative question. Uh, is Silver Guys like Batman and Dr. Fate worth promoting to Max? Can they live the expectations and go against Gold or Legend tier guys? Can you complete the game with Silvers? Thank you. All right, this is a really interesting question. Firstly, because I, I don't think we can answer it definitively. We're not far enough along, and one of the biggest flaws of Injustice 2 is because there's such a big paywall that there, it's almost impossible to accelerate your progress without dumping a lot of money into it. Like, you can yeah. spend hours playing it, if actually you can't unless you put in a lot of money <laughs> you can spend minutes playing it per day so what's interesting about the question is let me break down the first part is silver are the silver guys like batman dr fate worth promoting so when i think of promoting i when i hear promoting i think of the stars and the problem with the question in sort of built into the question is you don't get to choose who you promote most of the time unless you're willing to spend a disproportionate number of gems which yeah. burns through your resources like nobody's business and then basically it means you're slowing yourself down behind the paywall is that you don't get to pick who you get you don't get to pick who you promote and if it's the related question of who you are you going to level up um that's that's a different question too because as you increase the abilities they actually get way more expensive to do yeah so you actually need to make a lot of progress in campaign to get enough coins to max out some of their, their abilities. But you also need a lot... Of, what what the heck's happening? Oh, 
it just froze. Um, and I think it's quite possible that somebody like Dr. Fate, who, who's got a really great passive, and I've been using him pretty effectively on a team of two five-star golds, even though he's only a five-star silver, because yeah. of his uh, because of the decreased cost of specials, mm -hmm. that he's really good. But then that also means that you've got to max out the team a little bit. So is he worth promoting enough and maxing out his abilities so that he's not dead weight? So far, so good. I mean, I'm, I've gotten to the seventh board with only those three. I think, though, the way the difficulty's progressing, that I'm going to have trouble getting further. But on the other hand, I don't know that I could have gotten as far and have grinded, farmed as much without him. And if you're waiting to just max out a gold team, it's not like you can choose to say, well, I'm not going to spend any of my uh, gems on uh, boxes. Yeah. Because those those chests, you're going to get a bunch of silvers anyway. Mm -hmm. So I think it makes a lot of sense just to use what you get. This is the biggest frustration I have with Injustice 2. Is there's not a lot of choice. So you don't really get to choose your uh, your talents because you have to roll for it and it's random and you're locked in every day unless you want to spend a whole bunch of cash. Mm -hmm. And you don't get to pick the characters because it's limited by what shards you have. And aside from the challenge characters, which is really hard, which they're really hard to get to five star anyway. Yeah. Um, it's it's you're you're stuck. It's it's random. Less strategy. I mean, the gears you can't even switch from one character to another, right? Yeah, they're because they're all specific. Right, they're built into the guy. So the the little bit of choice you have is deciding whether you're going to re-roll um, an ability, and then whether you're going to keep this one or switch it to another one. And you don't even have control whether it's a really good one or what I, I guess they call it uh, rare or epic. Yeah. It still scratches all the obsessive kind of collecting kind of itches that I've got. But just in a worse way. Yeah, and I'm, but I'm not enjoying nearly as much as I, I was enjoying Justice where the, the Injustice 1, where I was actually making decisions that had an impact on how my game progressed and how the fights went. Yeah. So there we go. Our uh, video and our audio probably got out of sync because the screen froze up partway through this. So I'm going to do the sign off now. If there's any fight left, we'll, we'll play that out just uh, in case anybody's interested. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Komoda. <laughs>